emails lying through, but I'm going to show you the Shareflow workflows app. And I made this up, this this workflow, um, and I was thinking about the whole, how do we be able to, how can we create some type of form for users who are out and about to be able to populate and being able to alert people internally inside the office of some details. So I'm, I created some emergency form and I can, um, you know, um, now yeah, I'll just use John Smith, that's nice. and let's put the date of birth, quick date of birth of that person, um, gender, male, uh, emergency contact, contact name is um, Sue. And I can put an emergency contact number. And again, you know, it's just conceptually, you can think about different types of use cases, different types of fields you want to make this form show to the user. Um, you might have a date of incident, which is today, it was probably an hour ago. Uh, location, yeah, it's just place a, a postal code, so you just grab something up on a map, a description, in, you know, head bump. And I can type a draw here, so I can just grab that there. Maybe I just want to put, you know, top left, there was a, you know, X marks a spot type of thing, and save that. So I've got a little marker there. Video, I can add video, I can add an image. Let's just quickly have an image from, take a photo. Let me take a photo, you see I'm on my keyboard. Let's take just one of those. Um, I'm not gonna take my head, so I've attached an image there. And then I can then also put the reporter details. So, George Perum, medic, hospital, royal. Let's just make something up here. Um, date time reported, which is now. I might wanna sign that off as a person. Don't have to ask for signatures. I just put in, you know, anything that I thought of. And ultimately, what I do is all this content I've collated. The moment I submit it, and it will give me a warning because what I've done, I've turned off 4G um, data off this, but I can override it. You know, so shall I go through cellular? Yes, let's override that policy. Um, you can just leave it to be enabled over 4G automatically, so it doesn't prompt. I, I, I have that, so it doesn't use my 4G data, for example an emergency you don't mind so what's now that's happening is it's going and creating um, that content put in a PDF form and uploading all the data as well with it so it's, it's a, a time to just jump back um, back to my screen over there because I, I think I want to show you the scenario of someone sitting at a desk um, so what I'll do is I'll show you this one here and this is my demo account which shortly should be receiving an email that they have something that's uploaded and so what they'll do they'll get an automatic notification you can either just notify users or you can send to a bunch of people to approve or look at it and, and have access to it um, if i look down in the in the dashboard here i might see some some things that have been uh you know populated here so i can drill down um, that was earlier on. So again, you know, once I've submitted this, I have to wait for the notification to come. I can see things coming through. There's the first email. So what I did, I, I said, look, let's create an email first. Let's notify this person who's another employee. That's why they're called Sharefile Demo um, rather than Sharefile Employee. And this person gets a brief summary of what I decided to fill in there. And then they've got the opportunity to click on that and look at the documents that have been submitted. Let's look at the PDF that we just saw. Again, I'm not downloading it, I just want to preview quickly. Have a look at the document. I can see some details there of what I populated on that mobile app. I can click on the link to look at the body and it will open up that body link. And I can see that person's marked the next by the head. Let that preview, okay. And then I can quickly look at the JPEG picture that I took from my mobile as well so you can do dictations you can do all sorts of things on the form I just wanted to show you something quick and conceptually that you could think of I can use this in different scenarios and there's a picture on my keyboard um, and then now you've got that data in one place and you've got an audit trail of it coming in and maybe you want to create an action on the back of that I also then send an approval to happen and I want someone someone else maybe to look at the data and say you know if that person approves it then it's going to go to another stage. It's just another workflow is going to kick off and go to another stage. So at that point, I've looked at the data I'm happy with, 
okay, it's got the content there, it's right. I don't have to send anything back. I can have a flip through. I've got the opportunity to kind of mark, mark up some areas. I can put a note down. Um, and just, yeah, put a little note. It would have been great to have a vid. And again, that person will receive emails back saying, of my comments happening on it, the chef or employee who submitted it. But at this stage, you know, I don't have to have that video. I've just thought suggestions to that person next time. I'm going to improve it. And then people get emails back. So you'll probably be seeing, seeing tons of emails flying back. Um, as you see here, this is the employee who raised it. And these are the notifications they're getting back that someone's reviewed it and stuff like that. So conceptually, you can think of, multiple ways of using uh, ShareFile and the automation for different scenarios. So let's let's show you the, um, the, the workflow element using a quick signature. And again, this should be pretty quick. Let's just do this right now. So I'm going to grab an insurance doc, let's say. Let's just grab a template. And you see, I've got the, the options to do all the things manually. I can initiate and approve from here in the dashboard. I can check the document out to put it in read-only mode. I can also then click for e-signature. And what will happen there, it will automatically log in and integrate and upload that document to the e-signature platform, because now I want a signature from someone about something. So it might be a medical doc. Um, I can choose that person outside the company. I can add multiple signers in the loop and I can get them into sequential order. So that person first outside, then a few, few people internally. You can do some templates, you can automate this, but I'm just gonna show you something very quick of how to create and put a signature field somewhere, very simple. So, um, name insured, signature, let's put a date, and I can annotate this right now and say, I'm expecting a signature from George. So it's an annotation right now, um, and I put that text in. Um, keeping it very, very simple and quick, I now send that out to the, the person, give them 30 days. I can put a passcode on it. Again, just very simple. That person then will receive an email to say to sign that document. They get a link, to click the, the link to that document, and the moment they submit that, that's legally binding. Gives them some tips on how, to use to use right signature, got it, you know, so you can just click the red icon, go straight down to where you need to sign because you might know the doc already. You can just scribble there or do a type signature, apply. Let's choose a date. Today, submit and done. And then what happens there is that that document will come back to my existing storage repository, whether it was on-prem, whether it was cloud, it will come back. Um, and land into where it was was um, executed from originally. So let's go back into, um, oops, sorry. Uh, let's go back to here. So I did it with this account. Um, and as you see, because where I executed it from, if I refresh that screen, I'll see a latest version come down and it's all signed, okay? Again, sorry, I'm in US time. Let's just browse down and scroll down to the bottom. So I want to show you the quick signature. And that kind of concludes my demo at the moment.